Good afternoon, upper sixth. Um, the sun shines disappeared, and I thought I would uh, live the dream and read the MVT annual report. So this is a great report. You can download it using this QR code. Now this organisation focuses on supporting grassroots music venues. So this might be the first place where you know unsigned artists um, will sing. It might be you know local venues. This is. You know, for example, there's a case study here that uh, covers um, the Pavilion Mid Wales in here. So there's some really good case studies in here. Have a look through it. This company, this organisation also invests in um, other organisations like these small grassroots venues through grants and support. Now, remember, quite a lot of the time, not always, a grant might also come with advice and guidance and support. And this is a great example where a trade organisation in some ways um, are giving away grants up to about five grand. It's not a lot of money, um, but it also comes with help. And that might help other parts of the business. When I looked at this, I thought external sources of finance, then downloaded their accounts from Company House um, so we can actually practice a nice 12 marker. So here's the 12 marker for you. I've emboldened some of the key bits of information in here, but there's other things in there as well. So for example, addresses the need for urgent repairs. Um, you know, so those sorts of things would be you know, gold dust in an essay. So we've got some interesting bits of information in here um, from the value of the grant and loads of quantitative stuff in paragraph two. Now, those of you that pay attention, you will know that that phrase, using the data in extract whatever, um, means if there's numbers in the data extract and you don't, you'll be capped at level two. Welcome to four out of 12. Let's plan the rest of this. So we're looking for the hook. Hook comes in two parts. So the likely importance, which we see this quite frequently, and it's to the success. Now, you're not going to be one of those weak students that say, therefore, leading to success. You're going to look for what success might be in the case study. So, for instance, this is a music venue um, and we understand that you want people to come along and watch your gig and hopefully pay for the privilege. So this could be ticket sales. This could be other things. In the second paragraph, it's talking about costs, for example. So another success might be lowering costs. In this case study, it also mentions that they are on a rolling one month lease. And that means that they might have flexibility just in case things go wrong. They don't want to sign a 12 month contract, but it could mean that the owners of the pavilion suddenly give it to someone else. Um, and then they're gigging out of a bus stop or something. Um, so remember, lots of flexibility in the lease is good, but it could be very bad, okay? Uh, because if I was the owner of the pavilion, um, I would be looking for long-term leaseholders because empty properties I would need to still pay business rates on. Uh, this could be my pension fund, for example, um, and these guys are only giving me a one-month commitment, okay? so very high risk business model but then again um, they were losing money and now they're just about breaking even um, so down the bottom here you'll see operating profits up there um, but then again when you put it into context with they got a five thousand pound grant um, nothing to write home about really but things are better than what they used to be because before they were pretty terrible so and they're it's, it's a tough it's a tough thing middle of Wales getting people in um, so we've got our context which is obviously the pavilion mid Wales external source of finance I'm not just going to define that with a textbook style um, because actually I'm not going to mention all those external sources of finance I don't think friends and family and stuff like that are going to be that important to this question because it's not mentioned in the case study but grants are and I know in this case that the grant also comes with help. And we've got the name of the grant here, which is the Pipeline Investment Fund, if needed. So when we're looking at the standard, we are looking at level four. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for level four essay. And we want to read the case study and write it within 15 minutes to move on to the 20 marker. We know that we've got these lovely words like throughout 
in here and we've got context it's so important that they mention it twice now that context throughout means in every single paragraph and in your conclusion and justification so if you're not quoting evidence in your paragraph points shame on you um, try to please and uh, that way you'll remember to put the case study evidence in and also when you're in your conclusion you're not going to justify by repeating what you've already written because you ain't going to get the marks twice um, and I think in this case our tried and tested model that works for quite a few questions considering the alternative which might be that opportunity cost um, style of justification we might consider what it might look like if they didn't get this five thousand pound grant okay so it's quite an easy um, justification i think so moving on here's the structure um, and we would define first now remember we don't need a textbook definition so if you're struggling for definitions go to the case study have a look at what they're talking about you know grants are a source of finance and just describe the grant you're going to demonstrate an understanding of this external sources of finance the examiner would not be asking you in this question to list all of them um, but you need to demonstrate an understanding of an external source of finance which just happens to be grants so such as a grant helps cover costs improve financial stability and support long-term sustainability by enabling investments yeah I got that from the case study really um, now I was a bit nervous over the hook and it does worry me that uh, this is licensed to be abstract in, the, in a essay and it could be therefore resulting in success therefore not being successful that sort of rubbish is not going to get you the top marks and you should be looking at what success is well here because I was feeling a bit insecure I wrote success factors into my knowledge um, so it might depend on increasing ticket sales managing costs and securing a stable lease remember they've just got that one month rolling flexible lease which they might not have in a month's time if the landlord decides not to let them stay so looking at those external sources of finance I always like a quote um, and there's a bit too much there to quote to be honest with you but there's a lot that you could quote from this um, and remember if you're having this balanced argument we ideally would be saying external sources of finance like grant is very important and then however would be a short however in context we could take something from this side of the page um, from other other factors that might be more important and then my second paragraph might be actually external sources of finance are not the most important thing in, in the success of um, the pavilion um, then I would then my counter argument would be something that is important to do with obviously the source of finance external so it's nice and balanced and then we will conclude one liner and then we justify in context um, and we add value to our answer that little bit extra that those examiners are looking for so we've got some ba we've got a basic calculation in there um, and it, well, there's a couple there one is just taking one number away from a, another really um, and the other is obviously looking at doing some sort of percentage change basic GCSE grade 4 stuff here um, you need to keep practicing this so you can do it in your sleep you see numbers you do a calculation you can then draw a conclusion from it so turning losses into profitability would be my point for example we've got improved cash flow which all started with getting this five grand in and also the advice and guidance that came along with it as well the case study says that they helped them talk with the local council for example so over here factors that might be more important well the revenues in decline and there's an opportunity to do a basic calculation and if you're struggling to work out percentages under exam conditions just take one number away from another and comment that it's gone up or down not ideal but you know still does the job doesn't it um, so we've got rising short-term liabilities we can talk about those and this shows that actually it's becoming more expensive to run these small venues now we know this from previous research videos um, and we've got lots of calculations there grants alone cannot secure long-term viability well 
in some ways they could. I don't know if Elon Musk came along and bankrolled your business. Um, anyone who's read the Pixar book that I recommend to everyone, um, you'll know that Steve Jobs, when he was sacked from Apple the first time, just bankrolled um, a whole company that just lost money until Disney bought Pixar a bit later and then Apple gave him his job back. So if you think about it, that's a generalisation in some ways. Grants alone cannot secure. Well, the grant might secure until the grant disappears, obviously. And we've seen that with um, some of the closures in, in Wales. Good old Labour government. Now, we've got some quotes in there as well. And a possible conclusion, and there's always going to be two sides of this. It could be important or there might be stuff that's more important. And I'm saying external finance is important to the success of small live ven uh, music venues like Pavilion Mid Wales. I've answered the question. Now, if you can't get your head around justifications, this is where you should stop writing and you should go on to the 20 marker. Um, and do not waste your time rewriting something that you've already said. Okay. However, if you want to do something a little bit different, and you can see there's a chunk of text here, and that's because I always imagined that my conclusion's worth a third of my marks. Might not be quite true, by the way, but that's what I have in my head. Without the £5,000 grant, the venue would have struggled to conduct feasibility studies and structural surveys, making it harder to secure a long-term lease. Okay, I could have just ended it there, and that would have been fine. OK, obviously got, I've got a little bit excited here because I, I want you to I want you to see that there are some other things that we could have done here, suggesting that without the external support. OK, but just this bit here. So these two lines here, right the way across, obviously, um, structural surveys, feasibility studies. That's something a bit more that we've not had. And without the grant, they might not have been able to do it, making it harder to secure the long term lease, which was one of those success factors that we put in the definition. So that, in my opinion, would be pretty much good enough. If I've got enough time, I'm going to be writing something like this additionally. Um, but it depends how good you are with time. While operating profits improved, the venue still faced declining turnover and rising short term liabilities, suggesting that without external support, financial pressures could have forced it to reduce its operations or close altogether. Uh, and in the short term, that's a good reflection to have. That five grand, yeah, might not be a lot of money, but it might have been the difference that made the difference that got them into the next financial year. OK, a very risky business model, clearly run by people that love the music industry. I wish the best of success to them. Um, some of the venue, um, some of the um, lineups that I was reading on their website sound fantastic. Shame I don't live anywhere near Wales. Have a lovely afternoon, everyone.